Long range efforts, beaten away on the rebound. Big chance, New Zealand goal. No, the flag's up. Won't count for Barbarousis. Rifled in. And the assistant on the far side decided that there was an offside. There's some good presence in there, New Zealand. Cowart's corner, great save, fabulous stop from Ben Saeed. A look at this Ben Saeed save again, brilliant to deny Smith the opening goal. Got plenty on the header. That's a top draw save with the aid of his crossbar. Binden, a little bit of work. In space now for Singh. And he's closed down quickly enough, but it will be a free kick. Singh, drive it in. Oh, he nearly squeezed it inside the post. Certainly had the goalkeeper very much interested in that. Good effort from Sapreet Singh. Looking for just his second senior international goal. Ali Abdi. Abdi again. No one in the box. Has to go it alone. Cutback's good. But Rafia unable to side foot the effort on target. Good incursion though from the left back, Ali Abdi. Good steal from Binden. This is Garbett. The offers from Barbarousis. Now then, was the contact referee the good view? No great claim from New Zealand for a penalty. Nevertheless, Barbarousas has stayed down. A little surprised that New Zealand weren't more vociferous in the claim for the penalty. It's a little raising of the foot from Jalassi. How hurt Barbarousas is, only he knows. But let's have a look from this angle. Just waves a little leg there. I think that's a penalty. Now VAR is in use here. And VAR having a very close look at this. Tarek Magdi, I think there's contact. That looks a clear penalty to me. I can understand why the on-pitch referee has missed it. But I don't think VAR is going to miss this. I'll be very surprised if the referee isn't at least asked to go to his review area. Yeah, here he comes. I think this is going to be a New Zealand penalty. It normally bodes well when the initial decision wasn't given for the team who were looking for the penalty. There weren't very ve many vehement claims, and I was surprised. Maybe a lot of Barbarousas' teammates didn't see that little flick out from Jalassi, but he certainly catches the New Zealand striker. And this is a cast iron penalty. Yeah, penalty all day long. So Singh. Yeah, the wonderful opportunity here to give New Zealand the lead. Sapreet Singh. Denied by a fine save from Ben Saeed. Back with Singh, couldn't get the touch, and away by Rafia. Well, he was told, the goalkeeper, which way he should go, and he chose the perfect option. That's why the yellow card was shown, by the way, because that uh, strictly wasn't allowed at that moment in time with the hosts Egypt and Croatia playing for gold and silver across the city. Rafia couldn't get the touch he was looking for. Here's Singh. He's done well. Trying to buy himself a free kick there. Challenge didn't come.
Collision inside the area, it's another penalty. Barbarousis. I think it may well have been Chelassi again, the same two players that were involved in the initial penalty had a coming together again here. Yep, back to the review area. And this had to be because the ball did strike the arm of Barbarousis, as you'll see here. The referee has to decide if his arm's in an unnatural position, if it, the arm is making a movement towards the ball, there's all sorts of issues here. I mean, the arm has to move, given the pace he's running out there to maintain his balance and give a free kick to Tunisia, or is it a penalty? Here's the decision. Yep, free kick. If you're unaware of the rankings, who was 103 and who was 41, I think, well, you probably would. It would be a role reversal. New Zealand have played very well here. Garbett. Cut off here by Haddadi. It won't be time to mount an attack, I don't think. Indeed, there is the half-time whistle. Hope going forward when this FIFA series will be played in every even-numbered years going forward. Next one in March 2026 and every March every other year. Teams will take part and look to improve themselves. Technical development so important to the world game. And this will serve that purpose. Now, breaks on for New Zealand. Here's McCowart. Got a pass on for Singh, just too short. The idea right, just didn't get enough on it. Callum McCowart, Sarpreet Singh was... Good press from New Zealand. This is Singh, shots on. Sarpreet Singh goes for the pass, cute. And Ben Saeed just getting an outstretched foot there to deny Matt Garbutt. That was the acute little lofted pass from Singh. That was a decent save from Ben Saeed to deny Garbutt. Full stretch to block this with his left foot. Ben Romdani, those two have really bossed the midfield for much of the second half. This is Ashuri. Abdi. Well, the defending was good enough. And again, apologies for the language that you are picking up there. Tommy Smith making the block for the corner. Keshrida to Ashuri. Sad. Bit of space to get his shot off. And it's wasteful. Never troubling Krogham's goal. And that's it. The referee decides there will be no more time. Why oh, is a red card here? Looks as though he might have sent off a Shuri and Kakacha here. a big figure in that New Zealand goal. You can't get to that. It's a perfect penalty from Ben Romdani. 1-0 Tunisia. Up against Ayman Daman. And he gets straight down the middle. Goalkeeper spread eagled away to his left. The goalkeeper's view as he went left. Next up for Tunisia, Captain Laiduni. No mistake. Tunisia. Left foot. Slow run up. He's put it wide. Didn't look the most confident there, I have to say. Elijah just to make it 3 1 for Tunisia. No mistake. Again, side foot down the middle, goalkeeper going to his left. 
And it's 3-1 Tunisia. Alex Rufa, a lot of pressure on this penalty. But he didn't look like it, did it? That was very, very well accomplished. Cool as you like from Rufa. 3-2 Tunisia. Ala Garam. Yes! Best efforts from Crocombe, but it's Tunisia who will gain the bronze medals. They've won 4 2 in the shootout after the game finished 0 0 after normal time. So, commiserations to New Zealand who played really well in the first half, missed a penalty through Sapreet Singh. 